And ABC News can project that Trump will win the Oklahoma Republican primary based on analysis of the vote. ABC News also projects that Biden will win the Oklahoma Democratic primary based on analysis of the vote. ABC News projects that Biden will win the Tennessee Democratic primary based on the analysis of the vote still coming in. ABC News projects that Trump will win the Tennessee Republican primary based on the analysis of the vote. And now I want to head back to South Carolina once again, bring in Alex Brashe, who's there in Charleston for us. Alex, so far, polls have closed in about half of the states. Uh, what are you hearing from the Haley campaign as far as their feelings about how the night's going? Well, Lindsay, right now, we're not expecting to hear uh, publicly from Nikki Haley, but the mood here in, in South Carolina, which is where she's from, is kind of similar to what we saw the night of the South Carolina primary. Her campaign releasing a statement to ABC saying there are a bunch of happy warriors. They are playing music and having fun as these results are coming in. And and, and look, I, I, I know that uh, it, was, it was mentioned earlier about, uh, you know, some of the support that she's been able to garner uh, and how you know, some of those are independent and, and possibly even Democrats that aren't necessarily sold on Biden. South Carolina, in particular, was one of those states where she where it was a closed primary and she did actually garner nearly 40 percent uh, of, of, of the vote here. And so when they say they're trying to build off that momentum and remain competitive in this race, that's where they're talking about certainly that win in D.C. But again, I think the big note here is what is competitive going forward and is this enough to sustain a campaign path? past Super Tuesday. And have you been talking to Haley voters? If so, what do they plan to do if Trump wins the nomination? Will they ultimately turn out for him? Well, Lindsay, that's a really interesting question because there, there's certainly Republicans. And look, look at this point. I mean, I think this is about our, our, our fifth or sixth state where we've gotten a chance to talk to folks. There's certainly Republicans here that say, come November, by hell or high water, they want a Republican in the White House. And so there is this notion that they are going to coalesce behind whoever the nominee is. But then there are other folks, like uh, one voter that we talked to, who said that, look she's not sure and that's something that Nikki Haley has been able to tap into listen to this voter from just the other day that's hard like we think about it a lot um, I mean some days most days we swing towards voting towards Biden just because we are not we're kind of scared of what things would look like under Trump again um, which is tough because we voted for Trump before um, but it's, it's, it's hard to say like, and so that's Mary Coggins. And I mean, you, you hear her say it's hard to say, you know, that's part of that, 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 that 40 percent, if you want to say here in South Carolina, uh, that went for Haley, uh, that ultimately is kind of, I mean, their, their, their vote's kind of up for grabs in the general if Nikki Haley were to get out of this race. And that's a message that her campaign is certainly trying to send that ultimately, you know, hers is support that the former president would need uh, if, uh, if, if he is going to, to, to win this nomination and also win in November. Many of them still very unclear if they will give that support to Donald Trump. Alex Brashe, thank you so much. Of course, we'll return to you again in the next hour.